Hello everyone, welcome to One Get Filled In. This is Albion 101 with a tutorial of how to make silver daily. This is the daily little things that you can do in the game that will make enough silver that you can do in a quick succession and doesn't waste much of your time. So if you can play like, ah, I want to put one hour, two hours max into doing this every single day, not necessarily every day, not the weekends if you don't want to play, but for a total of like 20 days you're enough going to obtain silver to be able to get the daily monthly subscription, so the monthly one. And this is only for a little bit of time, if you play more, of course, you'll do other things and get more. And this is not gathering, by the way. So let's start first with the main scenario. I've brought myself the laborer books, of course. All of these are filled, I took some time filling them in, but this is what happens. I'm going on my rounds to one by one take my laborer books back and put them to work. As you can see now, this is just a mercenary. He is producing 2,000 silver and like it's extra 2,000 for silver for absolutely nothing. So one by one by one he is doing there and I even reached an achievement. Yeah. Right. I got the entire island has a total of houses which I, I do this and I produce on each mercenary 2,000 to, to 4,000 each based on the percentage that can bring it back. Right now 4,000 got back from 130%. The tooltip is wrong. They produce on the 100% they produce 2,008 when the 30% is for him to produce double of that amount. So that's that's one of the things. But anyways, this is easy. You can always carry around a tier 5 mercenary book or tier 4, tier 3, doesn't matter. And fill it up as you're doing like fame farms or as you're doing anything. And you'll have loads. For instance, I did a fame farm today. I made 185 tier 5 books of mercenaries in one fame farm today. I spent, what, 2 hours in the fame farm? So that's not bad. Another tip. Each one of your farms on the back which of your personal island each one of the farms not the plot the specific farm which has nine plots nine patches of carrots they produce around 15.7 to 17,000 silver each one of these farms produces that so three farms produces a total of around 55k silver that that being said I run four islands and on those four islands I have three farms I make 200k a day in half an hour uh, once again that's not counting seeds I'm not selling the seeds as it produces and I'm not necessarily watering it uh, I do plant carrots for the principle that you can literally plant for instance you've got four farms you plant the four farms you water two of them the other two get the seeds from the previous ones so you're halving your focus usage which is really good and I always advise on that. Another thing, I also do these little guys, which are the chicks. They produce a chicken back even though I haven't nurtured them or gave them a little tap on the head and they're producing it. They do have a chance to. You can sell the chick, but I normally just pick it up, float it back down, grab the chicken, and then I go to the butcher and unfortunately, yes, it is a butcher and it's annoying as gory. And I chop the freaking chicken into raw, chi uh, into raw chicken. One chicken produces a total of 20 raw chicken, but a chicken to grow requires 10 carrots. 10 carrots, it's equal to 10, if more or less 10 raw chickens. That's if you base on the price of 200 average. Prices oscillate up and down, but the 200 average. So I chop that and I keep the chicken until I see a spike in the need for, for raw chicken and then I sell it. Normally I get around 300 silver each piece of raw chicken which is one and a half more uh, is a half more than the carrots so instead of the 200 for a carrot it's 150 and I get back a lot the other thing I was going to tell you after you've made silver fishing is an awesome way for you to spend your time by doing nothing and make your silver in what sense when you put a fishing book regardless of the tier of fishing book that you have you can be fishing at tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 locations and you can fill a book up to tier 8. They don't have a restriction. To explain, I'm gonna purchase this one and show you on the tooltip. Can be filled by fishing. Any fishing. You're not bound to fish 
the tier 6 fish. The idea would be for you to get tier 5 books and make yourself a tier 6 house and put tier 6 beds and such and then it will start producing at 150%. This is a tier 5 house with a tier 6 worker producing on a tier 5 book. That's 110%. It's not ideal and also the tooltip is wrong it will produce the rare fishes found at tier 5 up to the bottom of tier 3 so it gives you 17 to 18 fish and it goes from tier 5s to tier 3s it's not 17 of each it's a rain, random amount of each until it fills the 17 to 18 right now that we've covered those basics the next thing you would want to want to do is go back to the main city that you are either Carlion, Bridgewatch, doesn't matter what city and for the first time of your day to run an expedition I will always suggest for you to run a quick solo tier 4 expedition reason being it produces the Adept Royal Sigil which is a tier 4 and these little things sell in Carlion currently for the highest amount of all of the royal sigils in comparison to the ones you can do as the tier 4, 5 or if you can do the group one tier 6 expedition so a tier 6 royal sigil is still cheaper by around sometimes even 20,000 silver so they sell for 11,000 the tier 6 the tier 5 sells for a total of around 15,000 and I've seen tier 4s go up to the point that's 34,000 silver I sold several like that but right now it's at around 17 to 19,000 silver and you can easily make 20,000 silver just by doing an expedition that takes you what 10 minutes it's not bad not bad at all plus you get some fame the last and the most needed one is for you to make a great use of your focus and the great use of your focus comes from refinement be it if you have some silver to spare and if you still have focus the crafting focus make sure it's never at at max because you don't want to lose be losing focus although also don't make this be your main thing don't worry much about this uh, if you're gonna do the focus what I meant is basically grab yourself some materials take it to any of the labor of the workers around the crafting stations so check to see you can hover over them and see the usage and if they're public and if they do have food then you go over there and you use all of that focus and make every single one of those items that you're crafting into one using focus so if you're refining it's really really good to refine especially if you're gonna be able to refine a lot using focus it doubles your profit oh I bought around 10 or 15 I'm gonna show it to you all I'm gonna do now is literally grab myself some stone uh, you can use got resources rock and I'm gonna get some tier 4 rocks I'll buy I don't know 50 tier 4 rocks uh, 50 I think you use 3 so maybe 60 if I'm not mistaken I'm trying to get you to get used to this so you got that I'm gonna have to buy the stone blocks of tier 3 and uh, you can always check on the interrogation mark or the question mark so you use 2 so I can actually make 30 now to make 30 I'm gonna have to buy 30 tier 3 stone blocks bought them got them with me doesn't make me super heavy or anything all I'm gonna do now is find a stone mason in Carlion. Preferably the cheapest one. Looking around, haven't spotted one yet. There you go. Custom, so I'm not going to go there. Custom, so I'm not going there. Public, 22% usage fee. 22% usage fee. Anyone anywhere else? No, so those are the two that I'm gonna use. There's one on the top that's also custom. Okay, so I'm gonna go to that one. A 
upon arrival, you're gonna test your grounds. So, <clears throat> imagine this. I'm gonna craft here four blocks. I've got, imagine I've got around 900, 9000, I got loads of them. Every time you're crafting, you get fame. And you can see the resource return rate on cities, even the royal surrounding cities, is always 15%. But if you do add focus, it goes to 30, 45%. It adds a 30% increase. That being said, um, the craft with focus, I don't use a lot, but I could, but I don't use a lot. I could make a lot more, is for this specific reason. I'm going to craft them. And I'm using all of the resources. I do get 27 back and 13 back of those, so I can craft an extra 13. I got one extra tier 4 rock than needed at the moment. Again, craft more. Again, craft more. And I'll do that using focus until I reach the non-crafting possibility. There you go, I even leveled it up. Back to the Kalian market. I want to check it out. And I want to sell this, these 51s. I'm not going to sell based on the price always check the create sell order they are gonna release a new UI for the marketplace which might make it really easy but picture it like this the first price that you are seeing is the highest buyer that placed the buy order for this item if you press click create sell order it will tell you what is the lowest competing price you have I wanna undercut this guy I'm gonna put 252 and I'm gonna put max at a month it doesn't matter if you had 12 hours one day one week one month this does not make a difference to the price you're gonna pay of 2% tax if you're a premium and 4% if you don't I'm, I made 12,000 and if you want to check it out I've spent six I spent 6,000 to make 12,000 I doubled my profit just using my focus so I'm gonna put that to sell it won't sell immediately of course but it's there and if someone is gonna purchase it they will eventually give me that profit back as a bonus of what you can do and you can do this anywhere as a bonus of what you can do to earn more silver although bear in mind it is slow to find a group in this scenario is for you to do solo queue arenas or group arenas both of them are the same the only difference being that as a group you go in as a five man or as many as you have as a solo you go in as a solo you fill the role that you need it can even be both doesn't matter and this is what's gonna happen it takes forever once you sign up you can sign up anywhere in the world the only issue you're gonna have while signing up is the delay we can even wait oh this one was a very easy one Apparently this is the prime time to find arenas and then you press start and you'll start it That's how you would do arena. And you'll literally don't lose anything. It will Get that make the queue. Okay, so the queue got cancelled by time and everything else. No problem You're gonna continue requeuing and that's all for today Hopefully this helped you out. These are the quick easy ways for you to make silver Eventually you're gonna be making around 2 million every single month just on this just guaranteed silver with no danger thank you for watching hit it a like a subscribe or just leave a comment for other things that you think would be interesting to see and thank you so much for watching much appreciated catch me live on twitch